Generic greetings and welcome back to Railroads. Today's train driving beverage is a very nice Irish coffee with chocolate sprinkles. Very much a treat and also very decadent. Either way, welcome back to Railroads where in a previous couple of videos we were checking out some different maps, specifically the non-realistic ones. So things like Quad Lake City, Rivers Road, things like that. And overall, pretty interested in them. And I want to continue that trend here by checking out the Fiery Axis map. This is another custom slash multiplayer map based on the Northeast US scenario economy and and uh, trains and I think we're gonna set ourselves an extra bonus challenge on this one and say that we can only have one bridge so say for example we start here we can go over to that city we just have to spiral all the way around however we're giving ourselves one bridge a just have a bit of leeway and b if you want to go to the center well there's no other way now when i say bridge i mean like across the water naturally if there's some contours in the land that we have to use bridges for then that's fair game however for the water we allowed one of them and one of them only let's click ok and see where it's going to place us Obviously, check out our uh, competitors as well. So, over to pause, and we are in Graceville here. Just to next of us, we've got uh, what's that? Batsville, I think. So, or Batesville. Yeah, that's good. You can hardly see it when the uh, <laughs> when you've got the white text on the white skyscraper, and that's the excuse I'm using for the inability to read. Got Blair on the left hand side. Lots of small things, like small towns and such. Luckily, Graceville, we do have a thing that produces manufactured goods, so we can take it from here. We've got Georgetown. There is it Georgetown or Georgetown or Georgetown? Spiraling along, we have our first enemy. Uh, that's JP Point Morgan, enemy competitor is a, a better term. And again, it keeps spiraling around. I mean, what's the colour of the water? It's like a, it's like pink. It's like, <laughs> like a Vice City uh, colour scheme, which is um, not all bad at all. Clayton's over there. I'm just trying to find another person. There we go. We've got George Hudson on the far right, coming towards the end of this spiral here. And I'm guessing somewhere in the middle. Yes, there we go. In Cinder, we have Jim Fisk, and there you are. In the centre, just to have a look, we've got. Uh, <laughs> it is actually called uh, Faraxis, so that's. Uh, the city there that they've got going that's right in the center that is actually a metropolis so in order to get there we would have to use a bridge so that would go from where we are now straight across but with that in mind let me go ahead and unpause it i'm going to go for tracking and probably build a tunnel here i would imagine no no it actually goes straight across and then we're going to put a depot in there and obviously build a train which is one two three uh, well, normally we do a three and a two. There's no particular reason why I've done that. It's just uh, the standard way I've done it for years, really. And that's now got some passengers and mail coming from here over to here. I'll also go ahead and upgrade this straight away to a terminal. No, I won't. I will have to sell some of our stock in order to do that. The reason I want to do that is you get a lot more money for passengers and mail. So from here, then, we're going to do a cheeky bit of double track. It's always a bit of cheeky double track. Um, you notice that we are near the water there, which is a little bit of a concern. So what I'm going to do is from here, move that to there. And then from this point, will sort of go along now you can see that is creating a bridge but we're not going over the water so i think we can give ourselves a little bit of leeway there this is going to go down uh, it says steep uphill and regardless of where i put it uh, i might be able to i might be able to style it out a little bit there yeah we have and then we're going to take all of the wood from this location and say go there wait until full head back clear the train come back up because obviously it's empty so that's actually the ideal scenario there that's um, always that's uphill so it's actually going to go fast downhill because it's it's a fully laden train and then once it's emptied it'll just sort of power its way back up which should hopefully work out. Let's go ahead and buy the furniture plant and let's see if any of our competitors are wanting to uh, compromise our position at this early stage of the game. Although to be fair they have been known to not wake up. Uh, on some of these maps so we'll have to see how we get on here it looks like that trend is continuing which is a bit of a cause for concern but we'll see how we get on I'm going to increase the double track over here to there and then this is going to spur around and then go to georgetown just because we've got passengers and mail that uh, we can do that Sadly, we can't do more than two double tracks when you're coming up with bridges and such, so we may have some issues there. I'm going to sell some more stock and then continue on with what I mentioned here. I'm going to I'll probably just double track that further, actually. Double track it up to about here. And we've got also a thing that says there's a railway needs uh, to be solicited. 
Oh, uh, Linford over there. So in order to get there, which is, what is that, bring, it's a bring six units of steel. We'd have to curve all the way around the other side, which is something I am simply just not going to do. Uh, over to Georgetown here, once again, place a station there, and we'll have that filled up. One, two, three, one, two, passengers and mail, job done, come back the other way, and there we are. I'm going to go for a double track on this side. Mm, I'm going to have to sell some more of my stock, but that's not a big cause for concern. Uh, that will actually go to there, and then I'll connect up that to that. So it means that that train, if it wants to, can go into there. Similar thing for that. So we've still got the three. And there's the passengers and mail coming along from Georgetown there. I'm going to check out the competitors, and they have awoken. They have started to... Uh, sprung to life, essentially, and they're starting to do stuff. And look at that. It's the... Buckyville Oil and Gas, and it's, it's, it's a huge oil field by the look of it, and yes, this has got a power plant in it, so that's actually going to be pretty good for them. going to buy out a little bit more of my own stock, I'm feeling just a bit vulnerable at this stage when it's like that. Um, so we've got this place that turns... It turns uh, beef into food. Okay, it's possible then for us to probably exploit that resource, so I'm going to do a bit of a double track up to there. This will then curve off and around. Uh, it's actually going to go through Alexandria, which is weird to say, and then up to there. So it's a bit of a weird around the houses arrangement, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We will say there, max that out on the beef, and then go to there, and then clear that. However, what I might do is alter that. So it does this, but I want another line going from Georgetown all the way to Graceville because this is producing, this will be producing food and speaking of that we will go ahead and start in, no we won't, I was going to say start an auction on the stockyard but I have nowhere near the right amount of money. I am actually going to sell some of my stock to buy that because as soon as we start putting product to market it will increase the value and that will be inflated so I don't want to do that. And looks like someone has just bid a big chunk of change there. I think they put uh, 50 grand in. That's just a 10 grand bid. But already I'm paying 188,000 generic units of currency, which is about, <laughs> I think it's about 80,000 more than the business is currently worth, but only currently. So that should be done shortly, yes. Um, as I was saying, I will be producing food here, but we're also... Oh, the 260 Morgul. Very nice. Uh, we're also producing some uh, goods here. What's that class does? Uh, let me just double check. It is classed as... Uh, it just says wood. Mm, manufactured goods, I'm sure it is. So manufactured goods are being produced here. So we need to transfer them somewhere. Transport them somewhere, should I say. Mm, don't really know where the what the best course of action for that would be. Also, I noticed over here we've got this woodworks, so yeah. What about further along the spiral? We've got a paper mill there. We've got a crop thing here, and also, oh, and your vet over the top right, we have a, um, a food plant right next to this. So what I can do is go for a double track from there. Uh, I'm actually going to reduce the... Uh, the track a little bit just so it doesn't suffer too much of an issue and this is going to go through and round and then over to there pretty much like that yeah just wait for the money to roll in uh, any second now any second if I, if I right click to cancel this I'll get the money all right summon it there you go I've clicked I've right clicked and ah, normally as soon as you do that the money would just come flying in and there we go a little bit of a delay but it did and over to Yvette. Okay, good. We also have more farmers over here, which oh, can actually go to Thurston. Interesting. Anyway, so that is now all working. Um, or rather, it's all ready to be worked once I've got this stuff in. So actually, I lied. It's not working at all. Uh, we'll put that there. We'll put that in here. And I'm going to have probably three, three stops, I would imagine. So it's going to be, from here, max out on the grain, wait until full, go there, clear it, max out on food, close that, go to there, clear. So it's filling up on the grain, it has to fill up because it's waiting until full, goes to your vet, that then gets processed, but it's not waiting for it to be processed, it will just get what it needs and then go. So it could have two, it could have eight. Head all the way along here to 
uh, Batesville. Job done. So, that is all fine. We now have a bit of a decision to make. I am producing food here and not transporting it, and manufactured goods here. Fraxis Metropolis uses all of it. What if we were to make a line all the way to there? 400,000. We've done it. That's our one bridge. We have one bridge only. Okay. Uh, Pullman's Palace Car Patent. Put a cheeky bid on that. Looks like others are also interested. Jim Fisk's currently got it. I do want it, but... How much do I want that? Okay, definitely. We've got a lot of people in passengers. And mail. But, well... Doesn't do mail, but it's passenger bonus. So... Loudest car in the world you're driving past. Uh, <laughs> new technology makes farming a cakewalk. Good, we've just uh, put money into farming. This is good. We should also buy at this place out as well eventually. Let's speed up to a higher speed. New speed record. 42 miles an hour. Neil uh, Corrisville feed ourselves. Uh, right, food plant. Let's buy that out. Let's go. So this, anyway, you can see this is going into... Here, we need some we need some trains running on it now. What I should have done is built it from here, straight up, and left it like that, because we would then be able to curve round both ways. Whereas now there's no way that this is going to connect up to that the other way. So I don't know what I'm going to have to do there. Because if I say that, oh no, technically it will it'll go in, but <laughs> okay. It's technically in, but I think it's facing the wrong way, so I'm going to delete that. Um, and I can't even, you know, do that. It just isn't going to work. Like from there to there. Technically it would. <laughs> um, that's one bridge, right? It's just a little... Is that one bridge? Are we cheating? I don't know. Nah, we make the rules up. That's one bridge. It's just a little little support. Um, right, so from here, there, fill up on your manufactured goods. Go there, clear. Passengers and mail, go there. Um, and that should do it. It's going to go back and forward. So actually, this one we don't need. This one, because it's getting the, the same job. It's going to... We're going to get the same job with this trip. <laughs> with this train. Hmm. That's quite a gradient. I'm just going to scrap that train. Don't need it. Um, what I do need to do, though, is that. So now that should be fine. So that's now working. We're going to get that upgraded to a station. Then a terminal. And I'm also going to start buying out some of my own stock. Just in case someone starts to get ideas. That's upgraded, I believe. Yes. This one isn't. Station, then a terminal. New engine. Baldwin. 460 10-wheeler. There you go. See, so, yeah, well, this is a terminal. Done. So we've still not got any... We've got the food here. That's just coming back and forward. So we ain't got many trains, really. What's that? The Corrisville Feed Company Special. Um. Ah, oh, that's where it's going. <laughs> I was wondering, why am I not? Uh, there's only three food. It's because this guy's transporting it. Okay. That makes things a bit more interesting. Um, 25% delivery bonus for perishables. We do have perishables, so we will try and get that. Another lumber mill over here. Ooh, just off. 
what I'm going to do. Let's make sure I get that one there, though. Jim almost got it, but no. We'll buy it out. Now we've got it, finally. <laughs> right, from here then. Fill up on wood. Go there. Clear the car. Standard procedure. Job done. That makes cars. We don't have any supply of that. This produces food. We don't have anything about that either. Um, look at that. That looks cool. All these manufactured goods. Going up to here. Don't think there's anything else around that we can exploit. Oh no, maybe we can go down there. Double track to there. Then from here, head down. We're not going over the water, so I think we can allow ourselves this. Don't know what the alternative would be, really. Three and two. Same again. Get ourselves a station, then a terminal. This thing, Whitbecker, is requiring... It's got two power plants. One there and one there. Oh, it's two different things. That's actually here. <laughs> that power plant should be up there. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, whoops. And that's a very built-up area now. It's got passengers and mail, though. So where's the next place? Cooper. That's passengers and mail. Right, let's do it. Double track. Like so. From there. Curve round. Go through that. In and here. Station. Upgrade. Station. Terminal. Passengers. Mail. Job done. Okay. That's working. This is producing... Oh, it's producing steel. Baldwin Sandbox Patent. Extra traction on inclines. Um, we have the odd incline. Yes. Yes, I think we will... I think we'll start bidding on that. Quite frankly. I'll also increase my stock. Almost had it. But they put the hands up. Hmm... Yeah, we're going to get that. Did that did that speed up? I don't know if it was just... I'm, I'm looking at it going, did that actually speed up? I don't know. So from here, there is steel. But it's not doing anything. The best way... Oh, is to produce cars over here. Well, in that case, double track. <laughs> That's a big double track. Take it to there. Okay, and we'll connect that up. Then what we'll do is double track it once again. Triple track, actually, would be, wouldn't it? And then have that go into there. Same on this side. The reason for that is I want to take all of that steel, wait until full, go there, clear it, and then I do want to bring cars elsewhere, but I can't at this stage. So, there you go. Um... I should have double-tracked this first, but I didn't. Now I've double-tracked it. There we go, that's good. That was upgraded, yes, fine. Um, gonna upgrade... No, I'm gonna buy some of my own stock. Currently own 80% of my own business. And looks like JP Point Morgan is not having a good time of it. So, we are the highest at 10 million. The next highest being... Uh, Jim Fisk on just over the 7 million mark, so just behind us really. We have then JP Point Morgan and George Hudson pretty much neck and neck on 3.75 million. But obviously I am trying to buy out some of their stock as well. Hmm. Jim Fisk is hot in our tails. Okay, so we have exploited up and around the top there. Where else can we go? Well, 10 manufactured goods there. That's fine. Here, the food that we aren't transporting. Oh, look at that. They've started to use, they've started to use uh, bridges. So, where can I go with that food? Well, where are they taking it? They're taking it down to there. The problem is that I'm not able to get many places. What I'm going to do is a double track. That's the 280 consolidation. 
one of our favourites. And this is going to go right over to Hinnigan. And that will be passengers and mail and also food. But I'm not going to say wait until full. There's no point. And as I go here, they've just they've just come here as well. Uh, what do they make here? They turn wood into paper. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I think we continue on along this length of... Uh, Along this length of the, I said length of track. Along this like ridge line here is what I'm trying to say. Quickly, quickly popping off these areas like that, and then is it possible for me to get round? It is. So a bit of an expenditure there, but I think worth every penny because we're going to have a train start here, passengers and mail. Go there, same thing. Go there, same thing. And then, technically, there again. So, if I didn't do that, what would happen is it would start there, it would go here, next over to Hennigan, and then go straight back to, uh, what's that? Uh, Buckyville. Whereas, putting that extra one in there, it's going to stop back at Clayton on the way past. You might as well. There's no reason not to. It's already gone through the place, so that's fine. Upgrading that to stations and then terminals. That's it. <laughs> hmm. Now, the compressive strength of concrete and brick is extremely high. The tensile strength, I'm not entirely sure it would be able to support that. Hmm. Interesting. And also physics defying. So we're just going to keep buying out some of uh, JP Point Morgan's stock here because, quite frankly, we can. Jim Fisk is closing in on. 9 million, currently on 8.7. JP Point Morgan, 4.3. George Hudson just went over the 9. Uh, just went over the 5, should I say. We are buying a lot of their stock. And we set a, set a new speed record. Nice. So I'm going to have to check where our cars are. Because we are producing cars. And also, what's on this line here? Nothing. Disappointing. It'd be nice if there was, like, an industry along, along this line. Hmm. So where's our cars? It's right up here, isn't it? There it is. Eight cars. So, I want to change things up a little. I want to double track this. And go to there. Alright. We'll connect that up. And connect that to there. Pause it for a moment and edit this. Actually, no. Don't need to. That's fine. What I do want to do, though, is go on like that. It's going to be very ugly, this, so apologies. Just so they can go to other tracks. Good. This one then, that's got, this has got um, steel. Edit it. Oh, that's the different train. Edit it. It's going from there. Fill up with cars. Go there. Clear. Return. I could fill up with that. Then go there. Then clear. I think that's going to produce a huge, huge pile up around this area. But I've just put another track in, and one of them is a direct line that goes straight across. So that might function. Uh, there's the Pratt Bridge Trust patent. I will not get it because, as we know, we're not allowed to build any more bridges. Actually, no, we can, we can build more bridges, just not across water. And I still do think that there might be a little bit of a cheat. But, you know, I'm, we can acquit ourselves of any wrongdoing, I think. It's uh, not a bit bad thing. There's that coming through, using using not the new line, but there it is. There's all the money coming rolling in. That's going to deconstruct the train. It's going to build it back up again. And this time it should be automobiles. And it built it there, and then it mag magically teleported back there. It's quite an advanced train. It's the one from Back to the Future. Um, it's also going backwards now and again, which is just utterly ridiculous. But there you go. 
Let's buy a bit of George Hudson's stock out. And also a bit of Jim's. I'm just going to buy the remaining stock that's left on the market, really. Including my own, but other people's first. So there's the automobiles. Watch this money roll in. Ooh, 57 grand a piece. Nice. Very nice indeed. It has been... A pleasure delivering those. Toothpick tragedy triggers lumber loss. Man loses eye to toothpick. Calls for wood boycott. What? Just, you're not allowed to use wood in anything. That's an interesting uh, concept. Gonna upgrade the Yvette S uh, station to a terminal. Well, it starts a depot. Starts as a depot and then it goes to the uh, the terminal. From here. I would very much like to take that. Who is this? Jim Fisk. Okay. There's a copper steel mill. Where is it? Oh, in here. Oh, we'll go for that then. Sorry, it's just, I said copper steel mill. It's Cooper Steelville. I was going to say, that didn't sound right. It's Cooper. <laughs> it's a copper and steel mill or just a copper steel mill? It's a hybrid system. Different alloys there. So we've bought out all of the stock we can for, um, for everybody. We got 30% of Jim Fisk's um, JP Point Morgan rewarded for completing the offer. Uh, oh, it looks like it was the one over here, I think it was. It's a place we can't really get to because there's so much, so much else going on. I can't go across there, but I can go around, actually, can't I? Let's do that then. So we'll double track from there, like so. And then from here we'll build. We'll build up and over. And this is Ward. Gonna curve around like that. And then into Cinder. There's a paper mill. If they're bidding on it, it must be valuable. And to be fair, the starting bid is like 300 and odd. So it must be good. It must be producing so something. I don't know if we'll get it for a reasonable price. Also realise that one of my stock has been bought out by um, Morgan. Well, that's fine. So from here then, it's going to be passengers, mail, same thing, same thing, same thing, job done. I'm going to buy out our last remaining stock. So we'll own 90% of this company. Almost. There we go. So we own 90%. It's going to cost us 1.8 million to buy the last 10%. Don't really care. Uh, there's a stockyard. Where are we at? Down the bottom here. And, ooh, producing 10. So it must be good. Job forecast, grim government warns. Manufactured goods falter on unemployment worries. Bit concerning. Okay, there we go. So, we've won it. Unless we have bought out, we have won this. 27 million for ourselves. Ooh, increased, increased speed on tight turns. We'll go for that. So yes, we're on 27 million. Next highest, Jim Fisk on 13.3 million. And we have George Hudson on 7.3 million, followed by J. Uh, P. Point Morgan on 6.5 million. Uh, the advantage that we have is that Morgan, we own, we own 80% uh, of his company. Which means it's only going to cost us 3 million to buy that out. The other ones are a bit more of a concern. Um, Jim Fisk, strangely it would cost us 11 million to buy him out. But George would cost us 12 and a half. I don't understand why it's going to cost us... Oh, it costs us more because we only have 10% of their stock rather than the 30% for Jim. Okay, but when we buy out Jim, we'll get all of the stock here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 60% anyway, so we'll own 70% of his company in total. And sadly, uh, JP Point Morgan, not so much. <laughs> there is the 462 Pacific. It's about to say it looks quite modern, but it's a steam engine, so I mean, you can't... Normally, you don't attribute those two things together, but 
Oh, it's a nice little classic bell on the front. Cool. Okay, so what do we need? 3.1 million. We are on 2.9. Yeah. It's not going to be a problem. I think, expansion-wise, we're pretty much there. We'll upgrade this to... Let's uh, liquidate that guy's assets. Upgration to a terminal. Upgrade. Upgration? Upgrade to a terminal. I was going to say upgrade to a station, then a terminal, but I just said upgrade, which is just not even a word, um, as far as I'm aware. So, I'm going to put a double track in here. I don't even know if that's in the station. I can't even tell. But this is going to come round and into here. Um, actually, I'm going to do that and then curve round. Put that in. Go from... Hang on. There, yeah. To there. No, it's not, that's not even in in the station. The station's there. I'm going to have to delete that. Delete that. Delete, sadly, that... Se oh, no, it's actually not a, not a bigger section as I thought. That's now definitely in the station. And that will connect up. <laughs> Goes over his stuff, but... It is what it is. One, two, three, one, two. Job done. Back. Back to there. Um, gonna buy that refinery out. To be honest, for the for the four hundred thousand, it's cost. It's gonna cost me. It only earns a yearly revenue of about twenty twenty five to thirty grand a year. I'm never gonna see that money back. Not not now. <laughs> But, there you go. So I'm just going to go around and see if there's anything that's... Something I'm completely missing. Um, I mean, we could start making industry, couldn't we? Realistically, if we wanted to, we could make industry. Go to there. Put that there. Um, connect up. That one need be. And same thing on this side. And mm, yeah, go on. Build a stockyard. So that's half a million spent, but it means we can go from there. All of that went till full. Go there. Clear. Seems a bit of a waste. But it is what it is. And it means that we're going to transport the food. Because we're at the moment we're on seven. So we'll still transport, obviously, all the extras as well. So, not a bad bonus. Not a bad bonus at all. Uh, Cinder's got a newspaper. Don't need to buy that out. Refinery there. Not going to buy that out. Over here we have Harris with a refinery. Nothing's going on there. Automobile factory. No. I mean, all these industries they could be supplied, but they're just not. The AI is just not doing it. They've got a very nice tunnel under there. That looks nice. A little tunnel under this outcropping and then... Oh, that's a, that's a good bit of track they've got laid there. So it comes from here, right across the water. The nice reddy pinkish water. Um, up a little hill, through a little tunnel, under the huge viaduct, continuing on. And then another big bridge. It's all pretty much level grade as well, over to here somehow. I don't know how they've managed to do that, but there you go, they, they have. Um, <laughs> and also, this automobile factory, not making any revenue, why not? We are making stuff here, right? Yeah. No, 282, not bad. Makedo, I think. Makaido. It's because we're producing the... No, we're not. It's sitting there. So why is it just... We're not really doing much with it. Yeah, it's just yearly revenue is zero. How interesting. Should have bought that out a while ago. Again, probably getting this now is a bit of a waste. There you go. Um, I'm going to also buy from this... And make a what's it called food plant from here. Spare off and round, and then up to that. Put in one of the silos, max it out, 
wait until full, go there, clear the car. Some more food here. I noticed as well, all this is empty. Because it was somebody else. It was Morgan. So there's all this for ripe for development. So we'll we'll do it. We'll get developing. Straight underneath. You can see all the old track bed and stuff. All the ballasts there. So we'll get food and passengers. No, passengers and mail. Up to a terminal. That we can... Is that our track as well? Yeah, it is. Go over there. Oh, we can go there. So let's double track. Gonna go across and curve round. And then pretty much follow the same lines as they had there. <laughs> See this would be probably a lot less interesting if we didn't have the hall. Oh, we can only do um it'd be less interesting if we had the whole you know, build as many bridges as you want thing. And we have used a fair number of bridges, but not across. Like, normally you would just build straight across. But we've done it this way. Because we can. What I'm doing there is just making it so we can come up to that. And have that in. All of that. Close. Go there. Clear it. Done. Hmm. So we own all of our stock because the last bit of stock was by someone else. Where can that go? That can go over there. That coal. Or it can go here. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Um. Okay. I think the best course of action is to let those guys fight it out. You know what? I'm not letting them have it for. I'm not letting them have it for less than a hundred. No way. <laughs> it seems just rude, very rude. But we are on 10.8 million. Haven't upgraded the first locos as well. We've still run around some classic locos. But after discovering all of this and exploiting it, oh, there's another, there's another little sort of town over there we could probably go to. Um. Like there, and then spend a ridiculous amount of money, I would guess, going in here. It's, it's, it's called Sid, a place called Sid. Passengers and mail, fully upgraded. Probably half a million to do all that. We'll never see the money back. Uh, the Clayton food plant, I'm not going to buy that. I'm not going to buy it for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's 400,000 generic units of currency. And secondly, Jim Fisk has just bought it. I have now bought out Jim, and I'm going to look at his assets. <laughs> um, so I wouldn't... If I merged it, it would be okay. In fact, I, I still own it, wherever it is. Uh, sorry, no. If I... Uh, yeah, is that right? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I bought it out, I would still own it. If I liquidated stuff, all the tracks gone, but all the industry stays. So I still own that wherever it was, wherever it is. And that has just left George there. It was about 12, 13 million to buy him out. It's now reduced to 5 million because ooh, for power and trains. Might as well get it. Bit of a kick in the face for George there, who is spending all this money not knowing that in maybe less than a minute his company will be ours. But, yeah, because we've got all that stock that uh, Jim owned, it's going to be, it's going to be a quick buy. There's the P, this is the PRR, announces a new engine, the P5A class. Hmm, it's electric. And 5.1, 5.2, buy, liquid it. And there we go. That's us. We were industry leaders on passengers at 68%, mail on 73%, food 59%. Interesting. 
Manufactured goods, 51%. Automobiles, 78 Look at the money as well. Automobiles are 62,000 each. Livestock, 54%. Wood, uh, sorry, grain on, I uh, can hardly see it, uh, on 53% and wood on 67. Coal, we weren't the highest. In fact, we don't, I don't think we moved any coal at all, hardly. Uh, but it was Jim Fisk on 95%. They were the coal baron. Oil was George Hudson on 100%. Paper, not even shifted. Nobody bothered with it. And steel, myself on 83, even though I hardly... I think most of it was just getting it from over here and whatnot. So, yeah, there we go. That has been a bit of railroads and another challenge. This is on the fiery axis map. And we went to Fraxis City, uh, actually Fraxis Metropolis, and made only one, a tiny bit, bridge across the water. The rest was just spiralling round. Really enjoyed that one. If you have any suggestions for different challenges, different maps you would like to see, or just more of railroads, then by all means let me know in the comments, and hope you have enjoyed this one. <laughs> As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.